Hi everyone. What we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at a video that's actually been inspired by one of my viewers or one of my subscribers by asking a question. And quite simply, it's whether or not that we select handbrake and neutral waiting at traffic lights or whether you should wait in gear. Before we have a look though, what I'd like to do is to say a big thanks to everyone who sent in clips for my analysis series. And we've definitely found a couple of keepers, which we'll be getting on to soon. You can always send me the clips in the usual way as well. But in this clip that we're going to have a look at, there's an extra added point that I'd like you to pay attention to. And it's how we can deal with any police cars approaching. Wouldn't have come down here for knowing this. Um, take it out of gear, Alan. Latch feet. I hate doing this. Why? I don't know. I just prefer to be like ready. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So let's have a little think about this one then. Um, if you're first in the queue. Yeah. All right. If you have to, wait in gear. So yeah. yeah. But honestly, if you're first in the queue, you can see what's going on. Yeah. Do you think your skills? At judging the flow of the traffic and traffic light sensors and what's going to happen are, are skilled enough to work out. Yeah, I think they're alright now. Aren't I you? agree, yeah. yeah. So the point is, I can set out of gear. you can. Yeah. Do you think it's a benefit at all? Do you think it actually. Um, it's not, it's more on the clutch, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is, yeah. That's right, yeah. There's a little bit of wear issue yeah. if you sit there pressing the. Uh, the clutch all the time because literally my first couple of hours when i was first driving yeah i remember i'd see like take myself out again i'd always say can i do that he's like do we that but i yeah. can do it i do just prefer to yeah sit in gear i think that's just a there. little bit of um pressure from people around ellie though yeah. so it's nice that you've actually you, you've come out with that mm. but you're ready for what what, what does red number mean Stop. Still means stop. Yeah. Just really get ready to go. Mm. Yeah. Green means go if it's clear. So you've got a couple of seconds to actually get ready. And yeah. we're a lorry, a van, yeah, and a Mercedes back in the queue. So, it's not so there's no rush. Quick, so mm. people need a different mindset on it. Yeah. Why do you think it's so important um, to try and take it out of gear then? I don't know. All right. A little bit of wear on your car. Okay. You're going to pick up the bill, not me. You have a look. Have you got enough time to do this? Yeah. Hell yeah. And some. Yeah. You could have taken it back out of gear and then put and it back in gear, then took it out and yeah. then put it back in again. Yeah. You had that much time. Yeah. All right, remember we're turning left. Okay, so we're going to move Good job. Yeah, Is the space significant enough to go through? If a van can fit through and a Mercedes can fit through, so can we. Good, so off you go. Off, we certainly are. Okay. So, wow, good. Where are you looking? Are we good? Yeah. What's it like up there? Just We're good to go? Is the space good? Yeah. All right, Ricky. So, why is it so important then to take it out of gear? Well, you deal with this. We're not going to answer just yet. There's a little bit of risk here. Do you think you're okay to talk about taking it out of gear now? Do you think you're yeah. in control of what's happening up ahead well enough? Yeah. Okay. This is an important point to understand. Learner drivers need to learn the skill of finding time when to talk. And this is often managed by the instructor. And for all you trainee driving instructors watching this video, remember if the fault committed has been potentially safety critical or safety critical, get them parked in to discuss it. Well enough. Yeah. Okay. Or you, should you deal with the bus first, do you think? Yeah, I think. So, so, yeah, when's the space? It's a space now. Yeah, You're looking in front as well? Well done. Good job. What should you do after the bus? Come back in. Very good. Indicator? If you wish. Finish with your signal now, Ellie? Oh, yeah. That's it. All right, good. So that's another important point that I was talking about there, about learning to talk and learning when not to. Yeah. That wasn't really, is it, progressed, the time to talk, was it? No. Okay. Maybe structure. 
Yeah. So pick your time to talk all yeah. the time and know your surroundings. Yeah. So why do we get you to try and take it out of gear? Um, in it's fact, look at the police. Just slow it down. This side of the blue car. Slow it this side. Clutch down. Don't steer left. Clutch down okay. and just stop. Just stop now. First gear because then. Go good. You said thanks to you as well. Now move forward. Excellent. Oh, yeah, I got that one. Do you understand yeah, what I did and why? Car, so it had enough, so it had enough space. space to go through. All we're trying to do, we're not trying to get out of the way. We're trying to leave them space. Okay. All right? Yeah. Great. Should we take it out of gear at the moment? No. Okay, good. Okay, well, Hold on. I see done with the people. Yeah. So we're trying to talk about this, but... Um, find a time yeah what about now do you think we're clear enough to discuss why yes go on why do you think I, I try and push to get people to take it out of gear at lights um i don't know is it better practice for your gears maybe sort of is but yeah. for me it forces observations ellie oh yeah people are lazy yeah, if they just on, sit in gear yeah, yeah they're just lazy and they just wait for lights to change I they like, don't really yeah, pay I attention see. okay yeah so that's and it's forcing you to look around, isn't it, to know what's going on? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah Alright, good job. So here, have a look around. Yeah. Is there are gaps in the traffic at the side? Put it in first gear. But look at the green light over far left. Yeah. Stop. Well, that green light's still on. Could you take it out of gear? Yeah. You could. Take it out, relax. Okay. Alright, yeah, I got that now. It's onto it. Now it's yeah. changed into amber. Get it into first. Ours are going to go shortly, unless it's pedestrians, which it's not. Off we go. And that's what I would be doing. Yeah. Yeah, because I've noticed that actually. I didn't think there was actually like a significant difference. Does, does that all make sense though? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Well done. I think that'll just be habit now doing that, wouldn't it? Good. Well done. So rely on your observation and don't yeah. be lazy. Yeah. Perfect. Even 10 minutes later, I'm targeting the required skill and trying to pass more responsibility to the pupil. So, lights have just changed. Has this started moving yet? No, so these have got to go before us, haven't they? Take yourself out of gear. Good. Which is the last car in that road? The black Ford Focus Estate. Take it out of gear. Relax. When the black Ford Focus Estate's going through. Press the clutch, put we'll it back in first, and let's see whether we're anywhere near what we should be. We've got priority over here. Good, hold well on. Okay. Off we go. Do you understand, Ellie? Yeah. It's easy, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's just habit, no? Yeah. Just trying to get into the habit of it. Excellent. Next set of lights, turn right, and you find a little gap to fit into. This may even seem a little trivial, and maybe. A little bit of a minor point and even leaving the car in gear on your driving test won't collect any driver faults but don't forget the difference between a good driver and a bad driver is all about observation skills and this makes you look more but here's something for added thought what would you do in an automatic now maybe that's another video, but thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all soon.